Are you interested in building great data dashboards? Hello and welcome to The Data Pinch, a series of bite-sized videos on all things data so that you can start your week with a pinch of data. Today, I will be sharing with you five mistakes to avoid when visualizing your data. Number one, creating visualizations on top of raw data. Before you start visualizing your data, you need to clean it and transform it. Using your raw data in your visualizations is tricky because you run the risk of working with outdated or denormalized data. And let's not forget the data sets that are poorly structured or the feature information that you don't actually need in your dashboards. So clean it up and transform your data before you visualize it. Number two, using too much data. Another common mistake is thinking that every bit of data is relevant and needs to be showcased in your visualization of choice. Building charts with a data overload will only create confusion and overwhelm. This results in the end user of visualization not actually benefiting from it. So only make use of the necessary data and keep your visualizations decluttered. Number three, numbers not visualized to scale. A typical mistake is creating visualizations that don't match the numbers they represent. When you look at the graph or a chart, you tend to draw conclusions based on what's visually represented. But if the chart is, for instance, exaggerating certain values in relation to others, then you might make incorrect assumptions if you don't look at the numbers closely. Not visualizing your data to scale makes your work untrustworthy. Number four, using the wrong charts. A super common mistake is choosing the wrong chart for a specific type of data. For instance, if you want to illustrate a change that has been happening in your organization over time, let's say in the product usage, but instead of visualizing it with a line chart, you make a pie chart. This choice would be completely off as a pie chart is actually used to show how specific parts make up a whole. With a pie chart, you could do a breakdown of the types of customers that use your product, for example, but not visualize a change over time or a trend. Number five, sharing only a fraction of the truth. Another critical mistake is focusing on specific slices of data to portray the numbers in a more favorable light. The problem here is that if you look at the data as a whole and zoom out, you will come out to see trends that will put those zoomed in numbers into perspective. A common example for this issue is financial data visualizations, where let's say the performance of a business is looked at only in certain periods of time without putting it into perspective in relation of the rest of the time. This might make the performance look better than it actually is in the grand scheme of things. And those were our five mistakes to look out for when visualizing your data. We know there is plenty of others, so feel free to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.